So today's video was supposed to be a play on Chicken Cordon Bleu, but um, I didn't really like the way it came out. It tasted great, but just visually I didn't like the way it came out. And also, uh, also this happened. Super tender. It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, nope, there it is. There it is. Oh, geez. Okay, it's a sleeper. It's not hot in my mouth, it's hot everywhere else. You wanna know what Mars smells like right now? Because I can smell it. What did I do? Freaking smell the sun come up, it's ridiculous. So yeah, today we're gonna be making um, French toast instead. Roll the intro. All right, in a small pan, start with two cups of milk, add two eggs and one egg yolk, and then stir until smooth. Once that's stirred and smooth, you're gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar and one half of a cup of granulated sugar. Now, stir that until it's well incorporated and then add your spice mix, which should pop up now, and your lemon honey mixture. Once that is all nice and incorporated, it is time to get our bread going. All right, now a couple of tips for your bread. First off, you're gonna wanna use an eggy bread like brioche or challah. Secondly, you're gonna want it to be stale. Now, cut that bread into about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, and then we are going to place that bread into our French toast batter. Don't press it in or anything, just set it in. Let that bread soak that French toast batter into itself over the course of about 30 minutes. Now, what are you gonna do for that 30 minutes? Well, all right, so after your shower or whatever you did for the past 30 minutes, um, you're gonna come out, you're going to flip it again, give it another 15 to 30 minutes. My batter was a little thick, so it took a little bit longer for mine to soak, but yeah, that's all you gotta do. All right, so we got all these warm flavors in this French toast batter, so why don't we make some toppings to kind of lighten it up, add some freshness, and then, uh, yeah, we'll start making the French toast. All right, for our first topping, start with 2.5 ounces of cream cheese and 2.5 ounces of mascarpone cheese. Now, if you don't have mascarpone, you can just do five ounces of cream cheese. I just thought the mascarpone marsca would add like a bit of smoothness, you know, a little bit of like tartness to it. I don't know. I, I thought it'd be nice. It turned out to be nice. So, you know, if you have it, you can use it. Anyways, once you have those two, oh my gosh, will this come out of this dang spoon? Okay, once you have those two cream cheeses in your bowl, you're going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. This stuff is strong, do not use too much. You're also gonna add two tablespoons of lemon zest and the juice of one whole lemon. You want this to be like in a spreadable slash can go through a piping bag kind of state. So, you know, you wanna have enough lemon juice for this. Anyways, once your lemon juice is in there, you're gonna stir this, make sure everything is incorporated, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then, uh, yeah, once that's done, you're gonna set that into your fridge inside of a plastic bag or in a piping bag. Now, if you don't have a piping bag, all you can do is, you know, snip the tip off of a plastic bag like this one. But anyways, set that in your fridge and now it's time for our macerated berries. So, quarter, about a fourth of a cup of strawberries, and then half, about a fourth of a cup of blackberries. You want these to basically be around the same size as your, as your raspberries, because raspberries are pretty small. Anyways, once you got those all cut and ready, make sure they're rinsed, by the way. You're gonna add juice of half of a lemon and two tablespoons of sugar. And then, uh, yeah, once you got that, you're just gonna mix that up Make sure everything is nice and well mixed. Basically what's gonna happen is the sugar and the juices from the lemon are gonna break down those fruits, bring out their natural sugars and stuff. It's, it's gonna taste good. So yeah, give that a good mix and set that into your fridge to uh, do the maceration thing that fruit does. All right, now optional but pro tip, if you have a wire rack, take your French toast out of the batter and set it onto the wire rack to drain off the excess. If you don't have it, it's cool, you can skip this step, but you know, it, it's, it helps. Anyways, once you are ready to make your French toast over medium heat, you're going to melt one tablespoon of butter. Now don't have your heat too high or else the outside's gonna burn and it won't be nice, it's gonna suck. So once that is melted, 
Oh gosh, I couldn't say melted for some reason. Anyways, once your butter is melted and your pan is nice and heated up, you're going to put your French toast in the pan. What? This is so weird. This, see, this is like the part of the video where like instructions get really weird. It's like, yeah, put the French toast in the pan. Anyways, quick tip number two of this video. Now, if your French toast is still sticking to the pan, it's not ready. It's a non-spick pan with butter in it, okay? The French toast will tell you when it's ready. Once it is able to be, you know, like slid around on the pan, it's ready and you can flip it and you'll have a nice golden brown like that. Okay, cool, cool guys. That's how you do French toast, all right? None of this whole, I'm gonna sit here and mess with the French toast because no, let it go, all right? Anyways, once that is done, you're going to take those and you're gonna put them into an oven set to 300 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now remember, these are thick pieces of bread. You wanna make sure the insides are cooked all the way through, but still moist. Should have like a nice, yeah, like that. There you go. And now it's time to plate. Serve with your macerated berries over the top, and then serve that nice mascarpone cream cheese filling thing, whatever, on the side in slow motion, because it's worth it. All right, cool. So uh, this was actually relatively fun to make, and it really doesn't take as long as you think. I mean, literally, it's super easy to do. I mean, all you really have to do is, you know, wait for that one part which is the soaking of the bread but that depends on how thick you do it like if you do a thinner slice of bread it's not going to take as long so like if i were to do half the thickness of this which i don't know why you would do that that's it's actually kind of crazy but yeah anyways um so yeah we're, we're, we're at that time of the video where usually i'm extremely nervous but i've gotten used to it now yeah that's right i've gotten used to it mm -hmm. oh snap all right, let's get a bite of like everything in one and see how that is. Yo, that is good. That is super good. Holy crap. Maybe I should do more breakfast stuff on the channel. <laughs> Cause that is good oh my gosh that's crazy the french toast has all those dark notes that mascarpone cream cheese thing we did had all the light notes and then that fruit just added like this good amount of freshness to it that's geez that's good notice i didn't have to put maple syrup on there you don't need syrup for this that is some good stuff i mean obviously you don't have to do it as you know fancy as i did it you can literally just make the french toast and the berries and you'd be fine I mean, honestly, that's like a simple, you know, wake up, start the, literally wake up, right? Soak the bread, take your shower like I did, <laughs> and then come out and then flip it, make your berries, boom, put your French toast on the, on the stove, and then there you go, breakfast in like, what, 45, like what, 30, 45 minutes? I mean, that's crazy. That's, maybe I just needed something light and fresh, you know? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly videos, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'll see you guys next week when we take on an omelet. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to do omelets next week, just because. Why not? And don't forget the B-roll.